In this video, I'll give you a quick straight to the point tutorial on how to install plugins in FL Studio. I'll walk you through everything you need to know to properly install plugins, as well as some tips on how to organize and manage your plugins library. The first thing you need to know when installing plugins in FL Studio or any other door is that you need to install the right format plugins at the right bitrate. If you open FL Studio and go to the Help About menu, you'll see whether your version of FL Studio is 32 or 64 bit. I'd imagine almost everybody today uses the 64-bit version, but just check to be sure. If you're using a 64-bit version of FL Studio, you can use either 32-bit or 64-bit plugins. I recommend using 64-bit plugins when you have the choice. For the type of plugins to install, plugins come in a few different formats to suit different doors. The type you want to get will be VST or VST3 formats. I talk more about these formats in the guide on my website. In this tutorial, I'll install one of the free guitar amp simulation plugins featured in my guitar plugins article. You can follow this tutorial with any plugin you want to install. But if you're a guitarist, download and install this plugin if you want to follow along the exact steps as I do. Start by downloading the plugin you want to install. Depending on what type of plugin you download, the file you might download may be a zip file, an installer file, a .dll file, or a VST3 file. For this tutorial, I'll jump on the website and download one of the Lapode Guitar Amp plugins. I'll download the 64-bit version and it downloads a zip file with the DLL plugin file. Before you install your plugin, it helps to know where you need to install it. FL Studio will scan specific folders by default, so it's a good idea to install any new plugins in one of these folders. Open FL Studio and go to the Options Manage Plugins menu. This brings up the Plugin Manager and I'll walk through how to use it later on. For now, take a look at the left panel to see what directories FL Studio will scan for your plugins. If you want, you can easily add a different directory by clicking the Add Folder icon. Once you know what directories FL Studio will scan for plugins, you can install your plugin in one of those folders. In my example, I'll extract the plugin's DLL file into the right folder on my computer. Once your plugin is installed, open FL Studio. Go to the Options Manage Plugins menu. There are a few different scan options you may want to enable or disable, such as rescanning plugins that have had errors in the past, or whether you want to combine 32-bit and 64-bit versions. Keep these options in mind for later on, but you can leave the default options for now. Click the Find More Plugins button at the top of the window, and FL Studio will scan the folders for any new plugins. Once the scan's completed, scroll through your list to see if your new plugin shows up. New plugins are highlighted, and you can see that the Lapo Guitar Amp plugin now shows up on my list. Sometimes the name shown on this list doesn't perfectly match the actual plugin name. If you don't see the plugin, use the search bar at the bottom or look at the file name column on the right to find your new plugins. If your plugin doesn't come up at all after scanning, check that it's installed in the correct folder and you have installed the correct format. If your new plugin shows up on this list, you can start using it straight away. But let's go through a few ways you can make it easier to access and sort them. Depending on the edition of FL Studio you buy, you might have a long list of plugins. As you add more and more plugins, things can get out of control. This can make it awkward to quickly find your most used plugins. One way you can organize your plugins for faster access is to save some as favorites. Click on a plugin in the Plugin Manager and click on the Plugin tab on the left. The left panel will now show all of the options and details for the selected plugin. Click on the star next to the plugin in the list or click on the Favorite toggle on the left panel. At any time you can add or remove plugins from your favorites in the plugin manager. You'll also see here if the plugin has been added to any categories. If you delete the category shown here, the plugin will show up at the top of your plugins list, which is an easy way to access your most used plugins. Open the mixer by pressing the mixer button or pressing F9 on your keyboard and click on one of the channels. At the edge of the mixer, you'll see slots you can use for plugins. Click on one of these and it brings up your list of plugins. Notice how all the plugins that come with FL Studio are sorted into categories. You can set up custom categories to sort out your plugins as you like. If you've favorited any plugins and they don't have a category set, you'll see them at the very start of this list. Otherwise, you'll find them under the categories set. You can see that the plugin I installed now shows up under the effect category. Let's sort this into something more useful. Open the plugins manager and select the plugin. Click the favorite toggle on the left panel if it isn't already set and add a name for your custom category. I'll put in Guitar Amps so I can sort all my amp plugins in one spot. Click the Apply Changes button. Now when you go to your plugins list, you'll see a custom category with the plugins you've added to it. 
You can see that the LaPo plugin I added now shows up under Guitar Amps with all the other plugins I've already added to that category. The last tip I'll cover here is to try out the plugin picker. By pressing F8 on your keyboard or going to the View menu and selecting Plugin Picker, you can get a visual way to find your plugins instead of searching for a list. If you hover your mouse over the bottom categories, you can narrow down the plugins you want to find. You can see that the new plugin now shows up under the Guitar Amps category, but it only shows text as a label. If you want to see a thumbnail for the plugin, open it by dragging it to a channel, then click the top left menu arrow. Select the option to add the plugin to the database and click OK. Now when you open the plugin picker, you'll see a thumbnail for the plugin instead of a text label. The key points to keep in mind when installing plugins to FL Studio is to make sure you use VST plugins, use a bitrate that matches your version of FL Studio if possible, and install them to a folder that FL Studio can scan. The steps may be slightly different depending on whether the plugin file you download is an installer, a DLL file, or a zip file, but once you get them into the right folder and scan them in the plugin manager, they should work fine. Check out the full guide on my website for some extra tips and more details for each step covered in this video. If you have any questions or need some help, please read through the guide before commenting as it will likely answer a lot of questions. If you found this short tutorial helpful, check out my other videos on FL Studio and subscribe to stay up to date. Let me know in the comments what tutorials you'd like to see in the future and I'll talk to you next time. And I'll talk to you